Hey guys, it's CarGuy11. Today I'm going to show you how to connect to your Toyota Supra's ECU. And there's so many things you can do with it, including coding, some features which I've, sh I've talked about in previous videos. But today I'm actually going to show you how to do it. And the biggest thing you need is a OBD2 adapter. This is a Bluetooth adapter and this is from OBD Link, the MX Plus. And I'm going to show you how to set it up and get it working for your vehicle. It's actually uh, a, one of the best on the market and I'm going to show you why. I have a different one that did not work with all the features and um, this one will work for everything you want to do on your Toyota Supra. And stay tuned, there's actually going to be an opportunity for you to win one of these. Stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll show you how. All right, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download the OBD Link app on your app store, and this will work on Android or iPhone. Remove the unit from the package, and then you're gonna go under your dash to find the OBD port, and simply line it up and plug it in. To power it up, you're gonna to wanna to enter diagnostic mode on the Supra, and that's three presses of the start stop button in the Supra. you'll see diagnostic mode active. Now once the unit is powered on, you're gonna hit the black connect button in order to pair it to your phone. And you can see it's blinking right now, Bluetooth light. You're then gonna wanna go to the Bluetooth menu on your phone and select the OBD Link MX Plus. And it's now connected to your phone. Then you're gonna wanna open the app on your phone, hit connect, and let it complete the pairing process. Now, just in the OBD Link app itself, there's a ton of options, including reading DTC codes, if you have any check engine lights or anything. You have a dashboard showing different data, anything you want, speed, engine temp, battery, fuel rate, stuff like that, and you can customize. It's very useful, like I said, just for this alone. So today I'm going to show you how to use the Beamer Code app to do some coding on your Supra. And the first thing you're going to do is download the app and select the proper adapter, which is the OBD link. And as you can see, I was using the Kiwi adapter before, but it didn't work for everything I needed it to do. And then you're going to hit connect. It's going to read the ECUs. You are going to use the BMW Z4 option. It's basically the same as the Supra. The Supra doesn't give you as many options to code. All right, here's your list of ECUs that you can code. And this advanced crazy crash safety module was one of the ones I couldn't access before so now it is able to read the data which is awesome so this is definitely the OBD adapter that you're gonna want to buy if you want to do any type of coding as I said the Kiwi I had was not supported on all of the ECUs so after a minute or so, it'll read that ECU, the Advanced Crash Safety Module. And in here, you'll actually find the seatbelt reminders. Now, I always wear my seatbelt, but these ones go off constantly. If you're not wearing it, say you're in a parking lot or something, it will not stop beeping. And that's sort of like how my Jeep was, and I made a video on how to disable those. Well, this is where you're gonna find those, so I am actually gonna deactivate those, uh, and you can just si simply click on it and say not active. Hit back, and we're gonna do the same for the passenger seat. Not active, back. And then all you're going to do here at the top, it says code. You're going to press that. It's going to ask you if you're sure you want to do that. Hit start coding, preparing coding, and that's going to actually program the car now. It's writing the code data. 
But there are so many options. I'm not going to go through all of them today. I already removed the sound enhancer for the engine note and I'll probably play a few clips here to show the difference. What a difference. You could do a lot of little tweaks that, you know, makes you like the car that much more. And it's it's really cool. I used to do this on my Audi as well. So it seems like the German cars give you more of that customization that you just don't get on the American cars. Alright, so it takes a minute to code. But once it's done, it'll confirm that it was successful. And then that's all there's to it. It'll probably restart the ECU. You might get some blinking or sounds of the dash. All right, coding successful. So that's all you're gonna do. And then it also backs up any of your code so it, it backs up before you start and after so if you wanted to uh, put the seat belts back on you can go into your backup and you'll see two there there's a before and after so the before one would have it active and you can just reinstate that but that's all there's to it then you can hit disconnect I would then turn off the Supra and then restart it back up Now you'll still get the seatbelt reminder when you first start the car, which is nice. But then after that, when you're driving slowly around, it will not keep beeping. So in addition to the seatbelts, there's so many other things you can code, including turning off the auto stop start. So it remembers the last position, which is off every time I start the car now. And that's a big one. There's several others, including disabling the lock chirp. I don't like that sound every time I go to unlock the car. You can also use expert mode in the Beamer Code app to change the brightness of the infotainment screen, which is a complaint a lot of you guys have. It's kind of dim. So this, this change will let you adjust the brightness day or night, which is really cool. Another good one I coded was to get rid of the legal warning on startup so you get your welcome screen and it goes right to the main menu instead of having to okay that legal warning and also getting rid of the backup camera warning gives you a little bit more screen to look at comment below what you are using it for and if you do comment actually obd leak sent me an extra one of these to give away to you guys so all you need to do is comment below i will pick a random commenter once this video reaches 1000 views so in order for it to reach 1000 views you are going to have to share it to your friends bmw owners super owners anyone um, that has a use for this also don't forget in addition to coding you can do the diagnostics which i showed you and track app so i use it for track days i use a track addict app and it will connect to your ecu and you'll be able to overlay uh data onto your videos which is really cool i use that a lot i'll be using it uh in the upcoming driving season so um tons of uses for this and also if you go to a dealer and they flash the car you may lose some of your coding so you will need this again to reprogram it so not a big deal it's so easy to do so guys definitely check out the link below for the obd link mx plus adapter and also follow me on instagram and facebook where i'll be giving away live the unit once we reach 1000 views so i'll be doing a live story on instagram and then i will comment I will respond to your comment on YouTube if you've won. So you want to do that. And also I'll post on there if I do any more changes to the Supra. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment below to enter. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.